Hey, welcome to day everyone. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a recap of our Royals in back-to-back -back fashion taking down the Newfoundland Growlers. As today, after being yesterday led by a great game by Jackson Cressy, where that line still played very impressive today, it was Braden Lowe playing great with his line with Frank the Tank Tachara, who was able to start the scoring on the night. Frank Tachara was able to get the great move on the breakaway to be able to score our first goal only 3 minutes and 13 seconds into the second period. And then Redding, of course, was able to get on another great move to the net by Dechara. You were able to get it to go across to Braden Lowe, who was practically behind the net when he was able to put it in, so it was a nice play by him there to be able to kind of just park there and still reach out in front and get it by Lowe, where Bykoff had an assist on both of the first two goals. So a great job by Patty Bykoff as well. And then in this game, Jacob Pritchard on the goal, um, the 3-1 to one goal by Morrison, which obviously went down to the game-winning goal since the Royals won 4-2. to two. Uh, Morrison got the nice pass by Pritchard, made a nice move in front, and was able to score. And like I talked about in the preview of Brad Morrison, he seemed like a guy that just needed to get the goal, just like it was Cressy. Some things are puck luck, some things are just... Certain crap ain't going your way, basically. And then once it starts, too, you just really get the tides going in your direction full bore. And it seemed like Morrison, just like Cressy, was playing at a different degree once he was able to really get that monkey off his back from not having the best puck luck and not just having the best fortunate like takes on the ice, basically, where he was able to have that today, able to get a goal, and he wasn't robbed by a goaltender again or a post or what have you and so on and so forth, and then of course he was able to get the empty net goal as well, which wasn't just some run-of-the-mill empty net goal, Morrison actually had a nice play to be able to beat the defender to the puck, delayed, held it, held it, and then was able to get the shot through, if he just shot that right away, that was likely getting blocked, so that was very smart by him there, um, the Royals, again, they played a much better 60 minutes, where now they're 21 points on the season to 28 by Newfoundland. They take two out of three from one of the best teams in the entire league. For people that don't know, they brought it up in the broadcast, but normally the Growlers have by far the most AHL contract on their team that's in the double digits, where, to put that in perspective, um, the only guy forward-wise is Morrison, I believe, that is on an AHL contract with the Royals, and obviously goaltender-wise, Pat Nagel and um, Kirill Ustamenko are both, but forward-wise, that's only Morrison, where they're like the cream of the crop, the team that has a million of them there, because Toronto doesn't have, if you look at them, ranked um, by the NHL and by Hockey News, by whoever you want to look, Prospectus, whatever. Um, they don't have the highest-ranked overall form system, but they pick a lot of the really good B, B-plus level, B-minus level, those whatever in the B's level, even C-plus level prospects that develop really well for them and then become great ECHL players, eventually become Marley's players, and then you see what happens and goes on and goes forth from there. So to be able to really play and take it to this team, that's saying a lot about this Reading Royals team. It's saying a lot about this team in the locker room and on the ice to be able to bounce back from the TR Lions overtaking them in the standings because of the poor performance last week, that they bounce back and play a hell of a two games this week after also obviously not having the best performance to start. They learned from the mistakes in the first game against the Growlers and then took that to be able to really come out, pounce on them last night. And then in this game, to really have a great back and forth first period, both teams played very well, and then to be able to come out and pounce on them in the second period, as they only scored, of course, four minutes into the period, uh, when it was 3-13 that the Char was able to score in that breakaway. So this was another just really good through and through game by the Royals against the best team, arguably, in the ECHL and the Newfoundland Growers, that they played a great complete game, a great complete 60 minutes. Um, for the most part, and then wherever there was just those mini lulls, because you never play a squeaky clean, so when you want to say play a full 60, it's play a full 60, the most 60 at the best pace you can play at, because nobody obviously plays the squeakiest clean all 60, that's what great goaltending's for, like Pat Nagel, who made some big saves again, and again, like yesterday, was very good in the second period. So the Royals, two games in a row, like I said in the preview, if you can just keep playing this pace, keep playing this more aggressive pace, keep playing this more, take the shots when they're given there, make the right moves, don't get overly cute with the puck style, the Royals are going to go like they were on this losing skid. They can go on a nice winning streak here as then they have a whole week off. Now. Well, 
six days off now. They play next Friday against the Anirondack Thunder, and then Saturday against the Thunder back in Reading. Well, I will be up there covering that game for Flyers Nitty Gritty. So I hope you all enjoyed this recap to another win, a 4-2 to two win after a 3-1 to one win last night against the Newfoundland Growlers as the Royals take down the top opponent in the league twice in one week. Peace out, everybody, and special thanks to my subscribers. If you enjoy the content and have not already, please consider subscribing to keep us going and growing, and also subscribe over at Steel Flyers and Flyers Nitty Gritty as well. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Royals.